Hello there, I'm Father George Salzman. We're uh, here at St. Paul's Church at Bow and Arrow uh, and right across from the Harvard Catholic Center. We're here with the altar of St. Mary and St. Joseph uh, behind me and here the Christmas crib, the Christmas crash, the Christmas scene, the manger. And uh, we take that for granted, but actually it was an innovation. Uh, it was an innovation by, of all people, good St. Francis of Assisi. In the year 1223 in Greccio, there in a cave, he got from a nobleman nearby the, uh, the ox and the ass and then he had literally what we forget, or perhaps don't know, a live nativity scene. And he had a live nativity scene which made extra vivid uh, the incarnation of Christ. Incarnation not as a theory, but as a reality. We just had at the Harvard Catholic Forum a marvelous pair of lectures by Liz Lev, the famous professor in Rome, the art historian, and uh, she made vividly clear how as one moves on in Italian art, what seems a very a simple child in swapping clothes hardly visible, uh, suddenly becomes this big kid, kid uh, in, looking forward to a meal, and uh, we see Christ vividly incarnate. Incarnation, not a theory or an abstract word, but Christ become one of us, and assuming all the difficulties of human life, including our poverty, which of course is what birth in a stable should, should indeed make vivid to us. You know, when it comes to Christ being God and man, it's happened that sometimes the God part, the divinity, his divinity subsumes the humanity. And so at times we have to claim back uh, that he is both God and man. Some people found it in the time of I see it hard to know that he was also God. Sometimes today, the matter of him also being man. And uh, so the nativity scene makes that vividly clear, doesn't it? Birth in a stable, the supreme poverty, they're being cut short, no place for her to give birth to the Christ child. It's enormously touching. And uh, so needy and at risk, and uh, we think naturally of so many other things today we associate it with. Think of all the people unemployed because of COVID. And of course, the dangers of that people were concerned for uh, in their poverty, which disease, of course, was a great poverty. But we think of the homeless, and we think of people of without work. Um, in the midst of that, some of the, the great, uh, uh, one, of, one of the things we think of in this season is a Christmas carol, one of the most famous uh, things to read. One of the most famous Americans would read it to his family every Christmas, surrounding there in the living room, and uh, many families do. And uh, what vivid examples, if you want St. Luke's Gospel wired for sound, uh, of someone transformed, Scrooge who thought money was everything, and suddenly by the season, transformed into someone who finally understands what really matters. And so what makes it clear here is when we see the poor shepherds, them out in the countryside, really nothing to hold on to for their own. Then of course we see the kings come from foreign lands, the magi were rich they may have been, but all that is as nothing next to someone who is the savior, not only of his own people, but of all peoples and of all of us. And all the famous thing they have in, in Barcelona, the famous figure they put in the back of the scene, just to show that somebody caught short out in the fields is also a part of those, is also a part of those who are saved. Um, Dorothy Day and Peter Morin, in the Catholic Worker, used to take care of those who were homeless. They brought them in, uh, the people in great trouble, can you imagine homeless in this season, in this cold? And they brought them in and took care of them. And they used that as a place to enjoy many others, who join many Catholics, who join the Catholic Worker movement, and have a lively sense of what our responsibility is. And to call them to question sometimes the things that are, or at least ask the why about that, and then to ponder the things that should be, and to consider a path from the one to the other. Certainly the insight of good St. Luke, certainly the insight of our Lord in his coming to be with us in our poverty, and uh, certainly our, our insight too. May God bless you. A blessed Christmas.